Hey everybody, this is Louisa at the Georgia Center for Nonprofits. Uh, we have Steve Freeman here today to talk about our certificate in digital fundraising. So before I get started with questions, Steve, will you just give everybody an introduction? Yeah, definitely. So my name is Steve Freeman and I am the founder and principal consultant at Steve Freeman Consulting. Um, and I work with nonprofits to help them uh, raise money, build community and inspire people to action online. Um, for the last four years, I have worked for the International Rescue Committee here in Atlanta, and I manage communications, advocacy, and digital fundraising. Awesome. Well, we're excited to have you here. So the certificate is starting in July, yep. and we already have some a lot of folks signed up. But for those that don't, we thought we'd take a moment and do this interview so that we can kind of, because it's a new certificate series, get a little bit of background on it. So I'll get started with just a few questions. The first one is asking you, you know, what's different about this moment and why is digital fundraising so important right now? Yeah, definitely. I think we as people collectively are spending more and more time online. Um, and with the pandemic and everything, uh, and a lot of people working remotely even more so now, right? And uh, I think a lot of people have uh, have two different lives, right? People have their, their physical in-person real life and then people have their digital online life. Uh, we, we consume news online, we connect with our friends and family online, we seek out entertainment online, and then we also, uh, we showcase the sort of causes and issues and things that we're passionate about online too. So I think it's just really important for nonprofits to meet their supporters where they are and they are online. Yeah, that's true. And I think we're not going back either. So it's there's a new normal happening that we don't even know about. That's great. So speaking of, you know, two different lives almost that we have, what does that look like in terms of that audience? Who is giving online and how are they different from the donors we're used to engaging um, through more traditional offline means? Definitely. So I think, first of all, it's really important to remember that all generations are definitely online. I know um, specifically for us at IRC, we have retirees and, and older donors and supporters who are on Instagram. They are active, they're engaged. So everyone's online. Um, but I think what's different with the, the fundraising piece is I think digital fundraising really makes philanthropy more accessible. Um, and that might look like, you know, uh, younger generations, so maybe millennials and, you know, I'm a millennial myself and Gen Z, we might have less disposable income, um, but digital fundraising, what's so great about it and, you know, with giving days, like giving Tuesday is like no gift is too small, right? Mm -hmm. So it makes it more accessible. And I think another big part of it is uh, a lot of young people, they want to, they want to be part of something bigger than themselves, right? They want to be really engaged with your nonprofit. And what that might look like is volunteer fundraisers for your organization, right? So these young people, they might not be able to give you a big uh, individual donation, but they could, through their peer networks, raise, uh, you know, raise funds and new supporters for your organization. Yeah, that's true. I think we've experienced that both being at the center and as a donor myself. I'm donating more online um, because I'm, I'm engaging more online. So I think, you know, it happens in the same place that you're, you're doing and you're giving at the same time. Um, my last question for you is, what are the advantages of digital fundraising over traditional fundraising? That is, what new and or unique opportunities does digital fundraising open up for nonprofits? Definitely. I think one of my favorite things has to be like low risk creativity, right? Like, so it's not like a, a traditional appeal you're sending in the mail where it has to be, you know, just perfect and you're spending money on the printing and all those things. It's like with digital fundraising, your investment is really the time you put into it. Mm -hmm. um, but that makes it low risk, right? Like you can post something on social media if it doesn't work or people don't respond to it, that's okay. You can try something different. So that's a great part of it. And there's so many tools out there now and free tools as well that you can really tell your nonprofit story and the story of your work and the people you serve in these creative ways. So you can use, you know, photographs and infographics and even video, right? Like we're recording this interview right now. This is something that nonprofits can do um, to, to sort of share and engage more with the community online. Um, and I think another really unique part of it is just that like 
uh, you know, direct conversation with your donors and, and your supporters. And it can be informal conversation too, right? So your nonprofit on social media, it should sound like a person. It should sound like the people behind the work and you're speaking to, to other people through these platforms. Um, and there's that opportunity for really quick feedback and dialogue and you can ask questions and you can engage. So I think there's just opportunities for increased engagement and just reaching like new audiences, younger audiences, and just really expanding the reach of your nonprofit. Yeah, that's great. And I, I think you hit it on the point too. It's, it's just cheaper. So you can try more things. We're doing that now and it doesn't take an expert to do it. Yeah. So you can, you can activate it and the more you do it, the better you get at it. So there's some okay. definite pros there. So that's awesome. Um, any any other like little tidbits of what you're going to be covering the class or that you would want folks that, you know, either are in fundraising or aren't in fundraising that w they should know about the class? Definitely. Um, I think that uh, a really important thing, I would say that sometimes when it comes to talking about digital and social media and stuff, if it's not something you're super familiar with, it can feel a little bit scary, a little bit overwhelming. And I think it's really important for fundraisers out there who are, you know, used to more traditional forms of fundraising, those skills that you have are totally transferable into digital fundraising, you know, and um, building relationships and, and sharing and communicating and, uh, and writing and, and all those other great ways that you build relationships with donors in the more traditional way, you can do that online too, you know, and, and I just think it's, it's for everybody. Um, and uh, yeah, and then in the class, uh, we're going to we're going to do some really practical stuff. I, I really want to show, um, you know, how to use some of these free online tools and how to create some really simple graphics, but um, and, and develop your campaigns and things like that. So I um, want to be really hands on and, and just want everybody to come with an open mind and, and feeling confident and not feeling uh, like it's scary or overwhelming or anything. We're going to make it really accessible. So. Awesome. I might have to sign up myself. 